Hello everybody, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have a special one for you. So since it's July, school is like a month away for most people. I feel like most people start in September. So I figured I would go ahead and give a head start for those that are excited and ready to plan. And um, I'm going to be doing a notion like how I use it or how I will use it, how to organize your school life and sort of be productive in that aspect. And I even provide you with the free template, one that I made by scratch. So if that at all interests you, make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I walk you through step by step how to get that template for yourself and let's just go ahead and get started. So here's the front page of my Notion template. And as you can see here, I wrote the word template here, which um, you can delete once you duplicate it. And I'll go over all of that stuff um, near the end. But right now I'm explicitly gonna show you what I have in my um, farm school Notion that I have shared with my friends and how we plan on using it. So first off, course schedule. Now, this is where you're gonna put in your course name, time, and room. And obviously there's gonna be more down here because we're gonna have more than one course a day. But for now, I just put one course a day because I don't know how many courses a day we're gonna have, probably like four or five. Um, but I'll just add more as I need it. But that's generally what it's gonna look like. Um, I got a cute little quote here. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. I just thought that was applicable and also very aesthetic with the clouds and it goes very well with the blue background. So I found this picture of pills up here and I really wanted to make a pink and blue aesthetic because this is pink and blue. So I, as you will see, I pulled in pictures that will fit that. So on the right here, I have a study vibes thing. It's just a Spotify, a playlist that I found. It's not my playlist but there's like a bunch of lo-fi songs and i find personally that i can't listen to like music with words and sometimes i can't even listen to music i have to be in a certain mood and doing a certain thing um but sometimes i'll turn on some lo-fi because it kind of just occupies the brain a little bit so here i have the section that's called backpack and there's four things under it which i will go into so the first thing is weekly planning Right here I have a study schedule and it actually links to a Google Doc or it, it, it links to an Excel actually. Um, I just made an Excel with a table. Um, it's very fancy looking. I can actually show it to you. I'm actually gonna take this out though once I publish this for you guys because I don't want it like linked to my Google account and stuff, but I could just show you it. So this is the weekly template here. It's like all of the classes and if you scroll across the side, there's all of the days. And this is really fancy what I made here. Um, basically, you have a deadline, a status option. It's a click down menu. So, and you put your task over here. So if you click here and you can say not started in progress or completed, just to keep track of what you've done. Um, it's basically like an online planner and it does color code. Like, so for example, if you haven't started it, oh, it's gonna turn red. If, you, if you're if you in progress, it's gonna turn yellow. And if it's completed, you're gonna turn green. Basically, it's very, very complicated to code this. If I can find the video that I used, I will link it in the description box below. Or if you want me to do a tutorial on this, I might be able to do it at some point. But um, you can even something just as simple as making a table and then instead of like having this fancy drop down, or you can do the drop down if you don't want to color code, but you can just literally write like not completed or in progress, like, and it'll be the same. And you can highlight the text. So um, that's basically this. And there's a page for, there's a page down here for me and my friends that I'm doing this with. So I will exit out of that and we'll go back to the notion. So here below that, we have this week's exams. And if you click this button here, I'll just do it as a thing. Example here, you can type in like, oh, I got a physio exam, right? Um, and maybe it's on August 25th, I don't know. 
And so once it's done, you can check it and it kind of crosses it out like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. So then I have a cute little quote here. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, not the goal, which is very important. I, I put try to put um, sprinkle a lot of quotes in here that speak true to school because this is a school planning thing after all. Right here, I have an August 2021 calendar. It's just a cute little calendar um, to show what this month looks like, or this is when we're gonna start using the notion, August 2021. And I will talk into detail a little bit more later on in this video about the calendar and exactly how I did it, because as we found out, the computer and like the mobile version or iPad version, were slightly different in formatting, so the numbers were all messed up, so I'll get into that later. And the last thing on this page that I have here, besides this cute picture over here, is this week's events. And so same deal, you just click the drop down and you can add events and check them off. See, just like before. So I'll delete that. Okay, so that's it for the weekly planning. If you click back up here, you can get back to the front page here. And so the next thing that I have is courses. And obviously these are the courses that we're gonna be taking in farm school, but you can change these out to be the courses that you're gonna take and also change the pictures. So you would just do that by clicking on it and typing it here. You can click on the photo here and say add file and then click here and delete that. So that is that on this page, very simple. And I should show you that once you click on here, you can have different documents. So if we have compiled notes that we do for study sessions or whatever, we can click on a separate page and just kind of have it all organized there and we can all access it. So I'm going to click out of the courses now and I am going to show you office hours. So this section is for office hours to kind of keep it all organized and stuff because it can get kind of confusing like oh what professor has office hours when i don't remember where is that syllabus that i put oh dear i don't know where it went well don't worry <laughs> you can have them all compiled here so basically just put the name of the class here the professor and then the day the time and location if they have different office hours and if you need to add more um you add more i only put three classes here uh, we're gonna have like eight or however many um but yeah if you need to add more you can add more it's very very simple you just click the plus here you can type in you know stuff i can't spell apparently and you just say turn into maybe there we go turn into and then you know heading to i feel like yeah right and then it's just that easy. And I don't know why I automatically colored it, to be honest, but you just click on color and it will show up there. So that's how you do that. Very simple to add it. I got the basis there for you guys though, if you wanna use it. And the last thing that I have on here is the extras. And this is where the calendar I was talking about comes into play. So I physically had to type out and put spaces so there's a bunch of spaces here in between here in order to make the calendar since um this looks kind of funny on mobile it doesn't look the same as it does on a computer and so to fix that i just took a screenshot of this and imported it on the other page um obviously if that's to which work you don't have to use that you could just delete the whole entire calendar section or you can google like august 2021 calendar and stick a photo there but i really like the aesthetic of the words like how this looks so I just decided it's not that difficult to do it so I'm just gonna do it so yeah I forgot to mention here look at this cute little this white coat icon it's adorable it's so cute oh and I have a quote here success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out if you don't like that quote you can obviously change it but I really liked it because things don't happen overnight it takes a lot of time and um, sometimes you just gotta remember that. So yeah, this is basically the notion here. I've shared it so that anybody with the link can view this. 
So what you're going to do is I'm going to put this link in the description box below. If you want to use this template, you can just click it and um, it should bring you to a page, I guess, that looks like this template. And you're going to say duplicate. There should be a button up here that allows you to duplicate it because I said basically I only want you guys to duplicate it. So you just click that button and it should pop up over here in your private notion here and that should make you good to go. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comments and I will try my best to explain and elaborate further, but I think that pretty much sums it up. So let's go ahead and go back to the outro. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that helps me out. It lets me know what you guys like, what you don't like, what I should do more of, what I should not do more of, all that jazz. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below because I post videos every single Sunday and I hope to see you back again next week. Bye.